it's been a tough grind, uh, but you know, I, we, we really believe, I think, you know, if you study it, is growth occurs in uncomfortable situations. And we're being put through those situations right now as a group. You know, I, I'm going through that, trying to figure out how to, how to build this culture as well. And, uh, but the one thing I'm learning is I think it's, it's a non-negotiable for us is, is that stuff has, you know, we haven't won a lot of games yet, but we're still connected. Our guys still trust each other. Uh, I think we're all bought into what we're doing. Uh, actually, I know it from from the way that we responded in Sioux Falls. So those things, you know, no matter who comes or goes, you know, up and down, who we have and don't have, guys are willing to step up for each other. And I think that's a credit to what what we're doing on a daily basis is you know making sure each other uh, we're there for each other and we're communicating with each other and those things that we talked about from day one. So uh, obviously, we prefer to have a better record and be more successful on the court. But uh, in terms of the team that we have and, and the trust that we have, I think uh, we're still, you know, ahead of the game. We met as a group and, uh, you know, part of that meeting was just realigning ourselves with what we believe is a culture and, and talking about some of those things that we have in our culture sheet, our manifesto and um, embodying those. And then part of it was going through the details of, you know, why Sioux Falls beat us so badly. Um, and, and a lot of that was on, on those guys taking it and, and, and doing it on the court. But, you know, part of it was turnovers and then part of it was being disciplined on uh, a couple of their players. The takeaways for the season thus far is uh, we have a resilient group and I think uh, we're going to get better and we're going to keep getting better uh, every day uh, on the court and off the court, uh, taking care of each other. And it's they've shown that through this really, really difficult time for us because everyone wants to win, staff, uh, front office, players. We all want to win, and, and we're not letting that get in the way of our growth. Uh, and so I think resilience, toughness, uh, togetherness, those are the things that, that are very obvious to me at this point. And, you know, this being my third season, it's not as successful as my first two, but it's probably as um, rewarding because our guys are, are staying together. and. Uh, fighting through it with each other, with with us as a staff, with with myself as as a head coach. So it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. We definitely liked our our point guard play coming into the season, and uh, it's been a fun challenge for us to kind of sift through and our ups and downs. And you know this will be a new challenge, which our group has shown that we're up for. You know I think when AC goes down, it's everyone was really aware that our, we all have to step up, and and that's what they showed. Is Scott was. You know the leader in that c category for us, uh, taking a lot of the playmaking responsibilities and the scoring. I think Isaac will probably handle for us a little bit, or majority, and then we got some multiple off-ball handlers as well that can help with that with Demarcus and Dre. We'll experiment with JJ at the point as well to see if if we can utilize his playmaking skills uh, uh, as a primary ball handler, and not just on rebounds or off the ball. And when Jamaria goes out there and gets those rebounds, it's it is a little surreal because, you know, that's a high number, 16, 18. It's a high number for the best rebounders ever. Uh, but that's what he does. You know, he, he averaged 13, I think, in college. And, uh, you know, that was our concern bringing him, uh, bringing him here was, you know, is his size going to be able to transfer to rebound in this league versus the better athletes and the better players? I mean, in terms of bringing Trav back on the team, it, it, uh, it will be to be determined. Uh, every team's new and every culture, every piece. Uh, everything changes. So uh, obviously Travis's skill set is he's a really good shooter. Um, he knows how to play. He can really rebound his position. So those are the skills that he brings, but uh, within what we do as a team, it, it will be determined.